Avoid long blocks that run north-south, as they make it harder to achieve a six-star standard. Try to pick a block where you can have your living areas facing towards north on the block. By reducing the amount of wall area, you decrease the amount of inside space in contact with the walls, and this minimises the loss of heat and makes the home easier to heat and cool. Maximise the sun to living areas by putting them on the north side. It is best to face the utility rooms to the south. This will reduce the need to heat these rooms in winter and provide more natural light. You can see here how to divide your home up into zones to make best use of solar passive design. It's important you understand the movement of the sun in relation to your block selection and your home design. You can see here the rotation of the summer sun. In summer, the sun is higher in the sky. By designing your home correctly, you can make sure the home is shaded in summer with eaves and other shading devices. From this view, you can see that the sun is not streaming into the north side windows, keeping the home cool on summer days. In winter, the sun is lower in the sky. This means that the sun can penetrate through the windows to the interior of the home, creating heat gain and reducing the need for artificial heating. In this view, you can see the sun penetrating into the living area and warming the home. Once you have correct block selection and home orientation, it's important to shade correctly so that in winter you can get heat gain from the sun and in summer you are protected from the sun's rays. A simple way of achieving this is to ensure that your home has eaves or other shading devices. Pergolas can be used to keep out the summer sun. Remember to install at correct angles so that light can penetrate into the living rooms. Vertical and horizontal architectural features act as shading devices to keep out the summer sun. You can also use roller shutters or external awnings. Covered open spaces, commonly known as alfresco areas, should be placed on the south side of the house. This leaves the north side open to receive the winter sun. A covered area on the north side means sunlight cannot penetrate into the house, reducing warmth and natural light. You can still have private outdoor open space to the north of the home, but it should only have temporary shading which can be withdrawn in the winter time. The example here includes a pergola on which a deciduous vine can be grown, which provides shade in summer, but allows the winter sun in when the leaves fall off. And again here, the uncovered open space allows the sun to penetrate into the living areas. Thermal mass is the ability to absorb, store and re-release heat. Thermal mass is heavyweight construction such as concrete or brick, but needs to be used on the interior to work as thermal mass. The advantage of having thermal mass in your home is that it moderates the indoor temperature in both winter and summer, as seen over the next few simulations. The winter sun shines down into the living rooms. The heat is stored in the thermal mass. As the air inside the house cools during the night, the heat in the thermal mass gets re-released back into the room and helps to maintain the internal temperature, requiring less heating. In this fly-through of the home, you can see how the winter sun is penetrating into the living room from the north side and how the concrete floor slab is storing that heat to be released at night. You can also see the living room is fully lit from the winter sun requiring no artificial lighting in the daytime. The summer sun is higher in the sky, so with correctly sized and proportioned eaves and other shading devices, you can keep your home cooler by keeping the heat out. During the day, as the air inside the house warms up, it is absorbed by the slab, which is cooler because it is in contact with the cooler earth. This keeps the internal temperature cooler. At night, as the air inside the house cools, the heat from the slab moves back into the room. It's important then to have breezeways, which can be used to cool the house by opening windows or doors. Looking at the interior of the home in summer, you can see that occupants are shaded from the harsh sun. In conjunction with the use of thermal mass, it's important that your home has good breezeway design as shown in this fly-through. You can also reduce the energy required to heat or cool your home by creating an airlock at the entry of your home. 
This creates a buffer from the internal and external environments and reduces the amount of heat loss during winter.